Before we take our first exam in Bio 181, it's important that all of us understand the zero tolerance policy for cheating in the course. So please bear with me. I completely understand that most of you would not and will not cheat. Believe me. When I was at the University of Michigan and my professors would talk about cheating, I would always get mildly offended. So I, I understand where you're coming from. Nevertheless, it's important that all of us understand the policy as completely as we can, as well as understand why it exists. So, please watch this entire video carefully. Here is the policy. Cheating in the course will not be tolerated or excused under any circumstances. Cheating includes, but is not limited to, the following actions. Plagiarism. Using the words of another person, including but not limited to a published work, unpublished work, or answers from another student, even if in paraphrase, meaning you change the wording a little bit. If you pass that off as your own work, that's plagiarism. Please take a look at the student handbook, which is linked in Canvas, for more details. Also, use of unauthorized references is not allowed. Unauthorized references can include, but are not limited to, the textbook, published and unpublished literature from the internet or print sources, and the work of other students in this class or in other classes at this institution or at other institutions. Also, unauthorized sharing of course materials is proscribed, is not allowed. Unauthorized sharing includes, but is not limited to, posting exam questions on websites like, but not limited to, Chegg and Course Hero. Sharing exam questions by electronic or personal means of communication, like face-to-face, -face, with students in this class or others, at this institution or others. Please note that posting exam questions on websites like Chegg in order to obtain answers violates this and the previous uh, policy. And because of that, it will uh, suffer very severe and very harsh consequences. Here are the consequences for any violations of these policies. Any violation of college, department, or course policies by any student in Bio 181 will result always in a report to the Vice President of Student Affairs with the recommendations as follows. For a first offense, with one exception, I'll recommend that the student be coached on how to approach education at this level with a temporary mark on their file that will be removed once they graduate. The exception is posting an exam question outside online. Okay, now for a second offense or for a student that posts one of the exam questions online, I will recommend dismissal from the college with a permanent mark on the transcript indicating that the student was removed due to violations of our code of student ethics. In addition to these consequences, the violations of course policies will result in the following actions. Violations of policies on midterm exams, quizzes, or labs will result in zero points for that assignment for the first offense and dismissal from the class for the second offense. Violations of exam policies on the final exam will result in failure of the course. So those are the policies and once again I completely understand that most of you would never even think of cheating in the class. However, still it's important that all of us understand why these policies are in place. So let me explain. There are three key reasons. The first one has to do with exactly what we were just talking about, students who would not even consider cheating. This is meant to benefit you. I completely understand and sympathize with the frustration that students who don't cheat feel when they work extremely hard to do well in the course only to discover that someone who cheated and therefore knows much less and is far less competent ends up with a grade that makes them equally competitive. That's the main reason why I'm in implementing this policy. One thing I will say to those of you who find yourself in that frustrating situation, I can tell you from experience cheaters don't flourish in a technical field like ours. Reality demands relentless competence. Scientists and healthcare professionals won't let anyone who doesn't know what they're doing anywhere near a million dollar sequencer or a patient who's critically ill. I have heard of students who've cheated their way into med school and graduate school, but it's extremely rare for reputable schools to be so f easily fooled. So take heart. By not cheating, you're making yourself not only more competent, but also more competitive when it matters most. Secondly, 
there's a rising tide of skepticism against online education, and for a good reason. Universities that become these online diploma mills are facing increasingly harsh criticism because they're producing unacceptably high numbers of incompetent graduates. One of the main reasons for this is rampant online cheating. So to protect your education and the value of your diploma, I'm implementing these policies. Finally, cheating strikes at the very heart of what we're trying to accomplish here. Learning takes effort, and this has been known for a very long time. Over 2,000 years ago, the famous mathematician Euclid told his king, Ptolemy I, Sire, there is no royal road to geometry. He meant that even kings have to work hard to obtain a technical education. Cheating circumvents the required effort. It ruins any chance of learning authentically, and it just, way, just wastes everyone's time. So, the policies I'm implementing are in part meant to help anyone who might contemplate cheating stick with the more difficult path and get their money's worth out of the course. It's my sincere hope that this gives you a clearer picture of the philosophy behind these policies. Please don't forget, I'm on your side, and these policies are entirely designed for your benefit.